You're listening to the Packernet Podcast Network. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the Packernet Podcast. I am your host and resident panelist, as always, Ryan Schlipp. Check us out online, packernet.com. Find me on Twitter, pack underscore that AL. So yes, it's very late again. Um, fortunately for all of you, Mr. Todd has so graciously um, decided to step up to the plate and offer his services. He's going to be taking this over pretty much entirely. So obviously I'll be supplying him with any grades and information and trying to get the information out to you doing the podcast and all that stuff. But all the back end spreadsheet work, he's going to be handling that, which is going to free me up and help so that we're not doing this last minute every single week. Also, quick note, there will probably not be a podcast tomorrow morning because it's a late game and I need to sleep once in a while, which um, is not great. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Lastly, before we dive into the results, these are week seven results, by the way, or current standings or whatever. I don't, I don't care what you want to call it. Just a quick um, note about what it is we're actually doing here. This, by the way, is just an update for people that are involved in our little game. So if you're not interested or whatever, you can just go ahead and skip this and we'll talk to you tomorrow. However, what we've done is created a little game. If you'd like to play, just jump in the Facebook group and um, find the post and say you want to play. And you start off with a $1,000 or a 1000 Packer Bucks, I think is what I will be calling them. It's free, no purchase necessary. And then you will um, buy stock in the players. And I will tell you the value of all the players. In other words, you know, Aaron Jones is $75 per share. Elton Jenkins, 64 bucks a share. I'm making these numbers up, but whatever. So then you'll spend your $1,000 or however much money you want to spend buying shares. And then based on how well they do in the game that week, those the price of those shares will either go up or down. This is a game that I've ha- had envisioned in my mind for years and years and years, long before the podcast. And now that I have a bunch of people around, I decided let's just go ahead and dive in. And um, a bunch of the nerds like me are, I believe, really enjoying it. So hopefully, uh, maybe by next year, we'll have something a little bit better but for right now we're just playing along with a little spreadsheet and so again if you want to get involved make sure you jump in the facebook group speaking of by the way 499 people in the facebook group so if we can get one more that'd be great and if anyone leaves you will be kicked a lot by 498 people but anyways we're not doing any ads or anything aside from whatever you heard before the show started let's just run through the results in last place my man mr kyle d Kyle, I do not believe, um, I don't think he's playing anymore, so I could probably just get him off this list. But we'll leave him here because there's still a chance that he passes somebody by not playing if somebody just completely falls off. Uh, Mr. Thomas is in second to last place. However, he did make a little bit of money last week. He put some cash down on Rashawn Gary. That paid off nicely. Also, Aaron Jones and it looks like Adrian Amos, I'm not sure, um, all of which paid off a little bit. He decided to hold back a little bit of cash. Would have been beneficial if he just put it all in because every single one of these guys made up money. But either way, came out ahead. In 18th place, Mr. Dustin C. with 820.8 Packer Bucks. Dustin didn't play, so again, bold strategy. In 17th place, Andy M. Always makes me think of the Wizard of Oz. Didn't play. Granted, a lot of this is probably my fault being last minute that these people aren't seeing it. So to all of you, um, again, should be going a lot quicker. In 16th place, Murillo T. Big man Murillo also didn't play. Jared, however, coming in whatever place, dropped 17.7 shares. Every single one of his dollars on Blake Martinez. Not a bad strategy except for the part where Blake was really bad. So he went from $1,164 down to just about 1000 bucks. So that one's stinging a little bit. In 12th place, Kevin S. Breaking that $1,000 barrier. $1,070.84. Excuse me, Packer Bucks. Kevin started the week with just over $800. Dropped six and a half shares on uh, Aaron Jones. 8.6 shares on Kumro. I absolutely love that. Got a lot of people that love Kumro. And every, every single time we do some of this stuff, I'm looking at it saying, all right, put your money where your mouth is, man. He did that. Kumro had a pretty good week. I mean, it was it was average, but he's he was down in the 50s, went up to the 60s, so, you know, it paid off. Big man Kyle B's back in the black. Started off with 958 bucks up to 1,081. 
putting big money dollars on Aaron Jones and Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is a pretty bold strategy because he's already up in the 80s. Not a lot of wiggle room there, but Aaron Rodgers goes off. Both of those investments pay off in a big way, so he's going positive. In sixth place, skipping a few people that didn't play, Taylor S., $1,343.30. Packer Bucks, come on, man. First week, Taylor jumps in, goes all in. I'm talking all in on Kevin King. 19 shares. You talk about putting your money where your mouth is. Taylor comes in with swagger and attitude, drops 19 shares of Kevin King. Kevin King's share price goes from 52 bucks, 52.6 packs. See, it's, it's awkward to say. That's the thing. 52.6 to 70.7. So just leapfrogging all kinds of people. That's a massive jump. Big Zach D, continuing his slow ascent. Started with 1322, ends up with 1461. He's spreading his money out big time. He put his money on Lindsley. Uh, that went, actually went down a little bit. Bakhtiari went up. Uh, Elton Jenkins went down. Jimmy Graham went way up. Kenny Clark went down a little bit. Kevin King went way up. Rashawn Gary went way up. Overall, made himself about 100 bucks. Call it 150 In fourth place, you already know, man. 1,684 Packer bucks. It's your man, Pack Daddy. I like to diversify a little bit. I went Aaron Jones, made some money. Only went one on Blake Martinez and lost out. Went one on Corey Lindsley and lost out. Went one on Darius Shepard and went up. Then put four on David Bakhtiari. That one went up quite a bit. Four on Dean Lowry. That one went up. Uh, One on Jamal broke even. Two on Kenny Clark went down a little bit. I put four on Kevin King. Yes, I put four on Kevin King. That one skyrocketed. Put two on Montrevious. Montrevious just about doubled. And then I put one on Rashawn, and Rashawn also about doubled. So a couple went down, but I only put one share on each of those. So I went from 1420 to 1680. I should be passing some people, but the people in front of me are just absolutely blowing it up right now. Dylan, <laughs> this guy right here, $1,300. 1375 Packer bucks goes all in on Kevin King. Buys 26.1 shares of Kevin King. Because, I mean, I mean, the writing was on the wall, but still. Absolutely huge. Kevin King goes way up. He goes from 1375 up to 1848. Just absolutely, absolute madness. In second place, Mr. Billy Masterson. He's going the diversification route, starting with 1520, spreading his shares across Amos, Lindsley, Shepard, Bakhtiari, uh, Kumaro, Kevin King, big time on Montrevious. That was the big one. He put most of his money on Montrevious. Montrevious about doubled. That's how you make some serious money. And then also his second highest he put on was Rashawn, and Rashawn about doubled. So we're talking about like a thousand bucks he dropped that just about doubled. So that's how you go out and get what did he make? Like six hundred bucks in this game. And then the guy that nobody seems to be able to catch, Mr. Todd G. He's just been apt. I, mean, I don't know how he's cheating, but he's obviously cheating. And now I've just handed over the spreadsheet to him. So now we don't have a chance here. The guy, he, I mean, he would, you, whatever. <laughs> it's just not even fair. Todd has just been leaps and bounds ahead of everyone. And a lot of us, like myself and, uh, you know, uh, Billy and Dylan, we, we did really well. Thought we could have caught up to him. Not so much. It's just every week with this guy. Todd started off with 2500 so he was already way ahead of everybody. Ended with 3374 Packer Bucks. Spread his money all around. Um, Adrian Amos, which was a popular one this week. Darius Shepard went way up. He put a ton on Darius Shepard. He put it on Bakhtiari. Put it on Lowry, which not a lot of people did. That was a pretty big payoff. Uh, Kumaro was a payoff. Jimmy Graham was a massive payoff. Kevin King was a big payoff. And then he put 13.6 shares on Montrevious, which again, just about doubled. So that was a massive payoff there. So that's where we're at, man. Top of the leaderboard, the top five, we got Todd G with 3,300. Billy in second place with 21, just to show how massive that discrepancy is. Then you got uh, Dylan at 18. You got me at 1684. And Big Zach D at 1461. So it's all in good fun. Anybody wants to get involved, um, we're, we, we need you to, we're saying 15 minutes before kickoff is the cutoff. So get in the Facebook group. You're going to have about an hour. And what you can do, if you want, is to just do percentages. If you don't feel like doing all the math, I would appreciate it if you could do the math and just tell me the shares 
but percentages are fine. So just say I want to put 10% on these players. Ba-da-da-da. Dunzo. All right. So best of luck out there. Go Pack Go. I will talk to y'all tomorrow.